welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to mod out your 1.2.5 Minecraft client. The major mods we'll be focusing on in this tutorial are Railcraft and Red Power. Secondary and optional mods that we'll be applying to the client later will be Single Player Commands, Zom's Mod Pack, Too Many Items, and also HD Texture Packs. You can find a link to all the mods that we'll be using in the description below. Now even though this tutorial focuses around the 1.2.5 client, I've used the same techniques on all my modding videos in the past that deal with uh, Forge and also these mods, and it has worked just fine. So I'm assuming it will also work in the 1.3 that will be coming out very shortly. Just make sure if you follow this tutorial you have all the latest mods that apply to the client that you're going to be using. Now once you have these mods, do like I do, and I put them in one single folder so I know where they're at and uh, they're very easy to get to. So let's take a look at what I have. I have Red Power, and make sure when you download Red Power there should be seven files. And of course I'm using the 2.0, 5B2, and make sure it is for the client and not the server. And then I have a couple add-ons for your texture pack later on, and, and I do use SPACs because um, they have updates for those. And also Minecraft Forge, the latest version, 3.1.3, Rail uh, Railcraft 2.1, and then of course your single player, too many items, and all that good shit. And the links will be in the description, and I'll also go over that later. The most important thing you should do before we start modding is to back your shit up, and I don't mean on the dance floor. And the reason why you want to back your Minecraft client up is because if you fuck up during this modification, you may lose everything that you have that's already there. And the easiest way to back that up is to go to your start bar, go to run, percent, app data, percent. Inside of here is your roaming folder, inside of there is your dot Minecraft folder. That's the one that you are currently running. The yeah, best thing to do is, is what I do is right click and cut it and copy it to the desktop. Now you know exactly where it's at, that way once you get done modding, if you don't like the mods, you can just delete the dot Minecraft folder that's in there and put your backup back in. Or if for some reason you can't get this modification to work, you still have your backup that you can put back in the roaming folder. Now you need a new .minecraft folder. The easiest way to get that is to start your game up and let it download. That will put a new .minecraft folder into the roaming folder area. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make a backup of that .minecraft folder. That way you don't have to download it each time if you fuck up and you need to do this again. And also too, uh, when we update to 1.3, if for some reason you don't like it and you want to go back, a lot of people seem to want to roll back on their clients, you have a backup of the uh, 1.25 jar folder. All right, now that you have a fresh jar file, go back to percent app data percent into your roaming folder and find the new dot minecraft folder. Open that up and go to the bin folder and open that up. Now you'll see the minecraft jar folder and open that up with winzip or win7. First thing you want to do is delete the meta If you do not delete this folder, you will get a black screen uh, when you start up after modding. Now open up your mods folder. All right, the first one you want to start with is mod loader. So go ahead and open that up. And you want to take all the class files and drop and drag them into the dot jar folder. Now the next one that we want is mod loader MP. Open that up and do the exact same thing. Grab all the class files and drop them in. Now you want to put in Minecraft Forge. Do the same thing grabbing the two folders at the top and all the class files. Now close out your Minecraft jar or minimize it, and what you're going to want to do is go back one folder into the .minecraft folder, create a new folder and name it mods, M-O-D-S, lowercase, and open that up, and this is where you're going to put your red power. So open up your red power uh, mods and grab all seven of them and copy them into the new mods folder. And also too, you want to grab your railcraft and you want to put that in there too. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and start your game up and just make sure everything works good. So create a new world and make it creative, that way we can see the, uh, the inventory. So open up your inventory and scroll on through and you should see all your red power stuff right here. There's your red uh, aloe wire and all your other wires so we know that that went in okay. And of course all your latches and all that good shit. And then finally you want to scroll down and find all your railcraft stuff which is right here. So now we know the mod worked. So now we can close the game out and make sure that you close the game out before continuing to mod. All 
All right, now you're going to run MC Patcher. Go ahead and double click on it and click Run. And when it comes up, it's going to tell you that the uh, client has already been modded. Just click OK. And go ahead and click your Better Grass. And the bottom two, of course, you're not going to be able to get. But click on Patch. And this is for your HD Texture Packs. And then close that out. Now we're going to open up Single Player Commands. Grab everything in here except the World Edit Jar uh, file. We'll uh, take care of that here in just a second. You uh, go into the dot .minecraft. You now have two of them. Make sure that you're in the dot .minecraft, not the new one that was created in Minecraft 1.25. And drop these in. And then the next one you want to do is Zom's Mod Pack. Go ahead and open that up. And open the folder that says Classes. And grab all the class files and drop them in. Now you want Zom's Forge. Open that up and grab these few uh, files here and put those in. You don't need the source folder. And then now you need too many items. So we'll grab too many items and grab everything here including the PNG and drop those in. And then close all that out. And now we're going to go back again back to the .minecraft folder and we're going to go to the mods folder and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call that ZOMBE, Z -O -M -B -E, lowercase. Open that up, grab the ZOMBE's mod pack, open that up, and we're going to grab uh, the config folder and take all the text documents in here and copy them into the new ZOMBE folder. And this is where we'll configure the ZOMBE and we'll do that here in just a minute. All right, now we're going to open up single player commands and we're going to drop the world edit jar into where the Minecraft jar is. And then we're going to close those out. Uh, and let's configure up the Zom's mod pack. Uh, so actually we'll open that back up again. Uh, we're going to go to the dot .minecraft, into the mods folder, and we're going to go to the Zom, and then open up the config folder. Now in here, this is where you configure like your fly and your build mode and all that. The only ones that I personally worry about is the build mod, and you just delete the number sign in front of uh, the mod build here, and it's B to enable that in game. Uh, and then I just kind of um, up the speed on some things which your single player commands can cover all this shit too. Um, I just toggle between between the two of them, so you don't even have to worry about that. If you're just looking for the fly mod, just go down here to the fly mod and delete the number sign, which turns that on. And then the default keys are F, E, and Q. Um, I change mine uh, to J, N, and M. That's personal preference. You can change it to whatever you want. Uh, the no clip used to be uh, by one of the keys on the keyboard. Um, now it's modified or actually toggled on and off by using the F6 key. So once all that's set up, we'll just close this up and we'll save it. And also, too, within here, you can control how fast you go up and how fast you go down. Um, you can mess around with those numbers. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones I use right now because uh, mine's usually already set up. Uh, movement speed, uh, like 3, um, and then your vertical speed, 0.4, something like that. You can play around with those speeds and, and see what you like. And now we'll go ahead and open the game back up and we'll try everything out. And there's your single player commands and there is your too many items, 39 pages. If you do not see this, hit the O on the keyboard. And there's your creative mode, you can turn that on and off. Alright, and then hit your fly, uh, your, your key that you enabled for flying and then you can move up and down with the keys that you had. And as you can see, you can't fly down until you toggle the F6 key. And that will toggle you so you can no clip and go under the ground. And it's almost like X-Ray Mod, which that's one of the reasons why I use the Zom's Mod Pack uh, versus the single player commands. Um, and then your reach, as you can see here, just do slash reach 30. Or you can turn on the Builder uh, Mod in Zom's Pack by hitting B. Um, and if for some reason the reach doesn't reach far enough, you can still do the slash reach uh, 30. And that'll work that way too. All right, now I'm going to show you the world edit. Uh, so just grab yourself a wooden axe, and you can just set your first position, left click, second position, right click, and then backslash, set, and then the ID number. Uh, one for stone, five for wood. Um, you can look up those on the uh, on the wiki to find out what's what. Or uh, your too many items also, if you hover over it, will give you your block ID numbers. And then uh, double slash select cuboid, S-E-L cuboid. That resets your axe so that, you know, you don't actually left click one place and click somewhere else. Alright, so now we're going to do the texture packs. So go into your texture packs folder. You already know how to get there because we've gone there about 15 times in this video. 
Um, go back to where you had your backup, probably on your desktop. Mine's in uh, the roaming folder because I've got several clients. So I'm just going to grab my texture packs here and I'm going to put them into the, uh, the new texture pack folder. And now I'm going to go into the bin and the dot Minecraft folder. And this is where the add-ons are going to go. So if you're using SPACs or if you have add-ons for some of your other uh, texture packs for Railcraft, um, just grab the Railcraft here and drop it in. And then you can do the same thing with Red Power. You're going to open that up and you're going to grab the Elo RAM or whatever, however you say that, and drop that into the, um, the dot jar file also. And then close all that out. And then we can go back in game and take a look at the new texture packs. So I'm going to set up my SPAC 64 just for this tutorial. And as you can see, the texture pack has changed. And we'll scroll through and we'll look for your red power, which is here. And you can see the texture on that is now a little bit different. And then also your railcraft, you'll see that that now looks like SPACs. So all that will match up and look really nice. All right, guys, so that's the end of this modding tutorial. I hope you got it all okay. If not, watch it again and, uh, and try it again. You'll get it. It works. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.